It's been called the most incredible volcano footage ever filmed. So good that when a few minutes of video was posted on YouTube, it clocked up a million views in just three days. But to get it, Auckland filmmaker and a colleague of ours, Jeff Mackley, had to endure 14 attempts and spent hundreds of thousands of dollars. Tristram Clayton speaks to the man whose lifelong ambition really has been to lower himself into the heart of an active volcano. <laughs> The best part about this is on the way down, it's all gravity. I want to get to the lip. Love is a burning thing. And it makes a fiery ring. Oh God. Bound by wild desire. All right. It looks like the surface of the sun. It looks like all of my wildest dreams into one moment. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down. The down, man in the heat suit is standing where no one else has ever stood before. It burns, burns, burns. It's just 30 metres from the soles of his feet to the boiling lava lake below. One wrong move is instant death. But Auckland filmmaker Jeff Mackley wouldn't want to be anywhere else on earth. I'd rate that as the, um, the most amazing thing I've ever seen and done, bar nothing. But Jeff's dream of standing at the heart of Vanuatu's Marum volcano has been a very long time in the making. I've been trying to get to the bottom for about 15 years and every, I've, I've learnt from every previous failed expedition what to do differently on the next one to increase the chances of success. So in the last couple of years we've come close a couple of times but we really knew it was down to having the right equipment, the right people, and the mindset of, we're going to jolly well stay there this time till we've done it. And stay, they did. Jeff and his team camped at the summit of the volcano for 38 days. It rained for 33. So, I know this could normally be upsetting. It's just, it's just a couple of minutes of rain. Yeah. As the days of waiting mounted, Jeff and his right-hand man Bradley Ambrose feared the curse of Marum Volcano would strike again. You, you might think, oh, it's just up in Vanuatu, it's, you know, $500 airfare, but by the time you, you, you know, airlift by helicopter a thousand kilos of, of gear and, and a, a tonne of water and all the rest of it, um, that's just to stay there for a couple of weeks. You've spent $50,000. And if you don't get the money shot, as, as they say, you've got nothing. So, it, it, you know, it's, it's all, all or nothing. But then, finally, a break in the weather and the 500 metre descent began. We're uh, about 150 metres above the lava lake. And uh, as you can see, we've uh, come a long way. And it's mind boggling. And uh, there's the goal down there. That's the cursed lava lake that's sucked up my money for 15 years. <laughs> and this time, Jeff wouldn't be denied. Five metres. Two metres. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Without his heat suit, Jeff says he could only stand at the edge for six seconds. Once he put it on, he was treated to 45 minutes of what he calls the greatest show on earth. You wouldn't believe how hot that was. Without the, when those big pulses of um, lava come up, um, if it wasn't for the breathing, the air from the breathing tanks and the, um, the heat suit, it would probably just about kill you. And like all good shows, it didn't come without a moment of intense drama. going on when that big cloud of smoke came up that was actually part of the wall just further about 90 degrees around from where I was standing on the entire wall collapsed like slow motion into the lava and all that remained of thousands of tons of the rock wall was just that puff of smoke but when I saw it it took a few um, seconds for the old brain to actually work out you know a wall has just uh, collapsed and then you know I got to keep filming because Jeff would have wanted that so now Jeff has finally made his dream come true, what now? 
yeah, I am trying to figure out what to do next, but um, there'll always, uh, there's, there's always other things. There are other lava lakes in the world, so I'm bound to uh, look at going there very soon and doing something ridiculous. How about you, Brad? You'll be, you'll be along for another mission? Oh, absolutely. It, it was, um, yeah, one of the, uh, the greatest uh, shoots that I've ever been involved in, and uh, knowing that we came away with uh, the shots that we got, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, oh, for awesome. The ring of fire. Oh, awesome. Tristram Clayton was the reporter. I need to explain. So Jeff Mackley is the mad bugger who goes down into the volcano and Brad Ambrose is the guy who does much of the shooting of Jeff down there. It's extraordinary footage. It was cut together by Toby Longbottom for us. That is it for tonight. Thanks, everybody, for watching.